Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm looking a little bit different to say the least. I'm gonna be sharing with you this Halloween look, Winifred from Hocus Pocus. Here is an image so you can compare. I'm gonna be doing my hair and my makeup, so if you wanna know how I created this look, keep watching. First up, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. My skin is naturally very fair, so I don't need to use a lighter colour foundation for this look. However, Winifred does have pretty fair skin, so depending on your skin tone, you may choose to use a lighter foundation colour. I'm taking the foundation over my whole face, including my eyebrows, because she has very fair brows too. Next, I'm going in with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I apply this to my under eyes, my nose and any blemishes on my skin. It's a great concealer for the under eyes because it gives good coverage without building up. Next, I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer to properly cover my brows. This is a super high coverage concealer that's able to conceal tattoos, so it covers my microbladed brows perfectly. And this is how I looked before I had my eyebrows tattooed. I'm now going back in with the same concealer to cover those pesky spots. Then I'm using my foundation brush to cover my lips because Winnie does have a slight case of foundation lips. To set the foundation on my face, I'm using the lightest powder shade from the Revolution Contour Palette. And I'm going to go in with my regular MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder to set the foundation under my eyes and stop it from creasing. Next up is eyes. I'm going to be using a mix of two brown shades from the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just packing it onto my eyelids. Winifred just has one block colour on her eyes and it goes all the way up to her eyebrows and into the inner corners of her eyes so that's what I'm going to do. I decided to change brushes halfway through to get a better coverage. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm now using a cotton bud to tidy up the area and create a rounded off shape. For my under eyes, I'm using the same two colours on a smaller brush. Then I'm going to apply some brown eyeliner to my waterline. This is the Wet n Wild Coal Liner in shade Simmer Brown Now. To line the top of my eyes, I'm using the Collection Extreme Felt Tip Liner. Winifred doesn't have a flick on her eyeliner, it just follows the shape of her lids, so that's what I'm doing too. Next, I curl my lashes and line the top waterline with the brown liner. You may also need to touch up the liquid liner after curling your lashes. To finish off my eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I've recently started using this mascara because I was looking for a waterproof one and I'm loving it so far. And this is the finished eye look. Now onto contour. I'm using a mix of two shades from the NYX contour palette and I'm taking it into the hollows of my cheeks and across my forehead. I'm now blending it slightly with a powder brush so it's not so harsh. Get ready for some strange faces now as I contour some lines on my face. This will help enhance my cheeks and my double chin like Winifred's. I told you I was going to be pulling some strange faces. Great angle, Hannah. Really just enhance that double chin. Now I'm just blending that out with my contour brush so the lines aren't so harsh. Next up is blush. I'm using the MAC Mineralize Blush in shade New Romance. Winnie's blush is definitely very noticeable, so I'm going to be applying quite a lot. I'm applying it with a blush brush in a dabbing motion to create a prominent circle shape. Now imagine a little bronzer to bring the look together. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer in shade Light. The makeup on my face does look a little disjointed, but let's be honest, so does Winifred's. Now onto lips. I'm using my Glossier Stretch Concealer again to make sure my lips are really pale. Then I'm setting it with the same shade from my Revolution Contour Palette that I used on my face. I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in shade Summer Tease to draw a heart-shaped outline on my lips.
Then I'm going to fill the outline in with MAC Ruby Woo lipstick. I'm now taking a bit of the lipstick shade onto my cheeks to make my blush really stand out like Winifred's does. I'm now going in with Glossier Generation G lipstick in shade Zip to enhance the red colour on my lips. To finish off my lips, I'm tidying up the outline with a cotton bud. For the finishing touches on my face, I'm using a powder brush to blend the blush a little as it currently looks a little harsh, more clown than Winifred. I'm then adding a little more concealer and powder to my brows to make sure they're as concealed as possible. I'm finishing off with a second coat of mascara on my lashes. And this is the finished Winifred Sanderson makeup look. Now on to hair, I'm starting off by fluffing my hair out at the roots because I want my hair to be as big as possible for this updo look. I'm using a small amount of the Hair Dance Dry Shampoo to add texture to my hair and help hold the style in place. My natural curls are quite soft but if you naturally have more texture in your hair than me then you can skip this step. I'm now roughly splitting my hair down the middle to create a centre parting. Now that my hair is parted, I'm grabbing a section from the top and very gently backcombing for volume and hold. If your hair is dry or damaged, I don't recommend doing this. Also, if your hair is more curly than mine, you can probably skip this step too. I'm now twisting my hair around and creating a small bun. It doesn't matter if it's messy because this will be covered over in the next step. I'm then pulling the hair out a bit to make the bun bigger. I'm now doing the exact same on the other side, so I'll speed it up. I mean, this is a cute look in itself, right? Next, I'm taking pieces of hair from the section I left out, bringing them over the bun and securing them in place with a bobby pin. Again, it really doesn't matter if it's a bit messy, and if you have some little curly pieces hanging out, that just adds to the look. I'm now doing the same on the other side, just bringing sections of hair up and over the bun and clipping them in place. I'm now taking the front section, back combing slightly, again you can skip this step, and placing it over the top section of my bun. Okay, there's a bit I didn't cover there, but I don't think it matters. I am a witch after all. To finish off, I'm using a couple of butterfly clips to keep the back section in place, but you can use bobby pins if you want to. And there we go, this is the finished look. I honestly don't think it's bad for a first attempt. So there you go, that is how I created this look. I really hope you found it helpful and that it gave you some Halloween costume inspiration. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you soon. Bye guys.